Howdy folks, Scanner here. In this video, we're gonna go through the Void Hunter build I have been using recently. Now, keep in mind on this channel, I am doing builds that I just enjoy playing. This is not like min-max builds for end game content. I ain't that guy. There's lots of people out there focusing almost exclusively I'm getting absolutely everything mathematically out of their bills. I'm just focusing on what is helping me out at my level of play. And my level of play is not GM play. So keep that in mind. If you want really good GM builds, watch people like Plunder the Booty, Mac Dix, and folks like that. So let's start with the weapons, right? Which really form the basis of the build in my uh, kinetic slot i've actually got a riptide with chill clip because it's just it's pretty good right now when you're me and you get yourself in bad situations with champs it's a good get a jail free card on this build so i like to run it i'm also running the wave splitter because i make a lot of orbs with this build uh, the wave splitter uses supercharged batteries so when you pick up an orb it will really boost your output for quite some time and then i've got a sh i'm actually running a shattered cipher void machine gun i know a lot of people are running a lot of other stuff i really like the shattered cipher i like the high rate of fire it's 900 rounds per minute it's got really nippy reload speed when this thing is closed or uh, when this thing's empty and i'm just really really enjoying it right now it is doing everything i need to do in conjunction with volatile rounds um yeah so that's that let's dive in to the actual build setup itself so what i am doing is i am running the orpheus rig um exotic which means that when you use your super you uh basically get a bunch of energy back which is very useful it provides ability energy for each target tethered by deadfall anchors and because deadfall anchors hang around for quite a while it can tether up an awful lot of stuff in the right type of content and you can get a large majority of your super back so i obviously like to run deadfall for my abilities i like to run gambler's dodge it recharges your melee ability when you are melee or uh, dodging close to enemies i like to run triple jump i like to run the snare bomb because it weakens enemies which I really appreciate. And I run Vortex Grenade. Uh, it pulls enemies inwards and continually damages them over time, which is great because what I wanna do here is I want to control space. And um, what I have realized is as a player, mechanically, I just ain't there anymore. My hands are pretty shot, but I can kind of see stuff happening and intervene and try to help out the other people that I'm playing with because I've noticed Destiny does a reasonably good job of putting me in with players of my own skill level, even in the PvE stuff. So fair play to them. For aspects, I'm running Vanishing Step. It makes you invisible when you dodge, which is basically a get out of jail or a get into jail free card based off this week's Nightfall, where I could just go invisible at will and take in the orb. And I also like to run Stylish Executioner, which means defeating a weakened, suppressed, or volatile target grants invisibility. And we are doing a lot of stuff to get people weakened, suppressed, or volatile, such as our melee, our deadfall, and of course, even our grenade, thanks to Echo of Undermining, my Void Grenades weaken the targets. Uh, I am also running Echo of Cessation, that means that finisher final blows create a void burst and it causes nearby enemies to become volatile. And it also means that defeating volatile enemies creates a void breach. I'm running Echo of Starvation. So every time I pick up a void breach, I get an orb of power or, I, or an orb of power. I get devour. And I'm also running Echo of Persistence. So void buffs applied to me have an increased duration such as invisibility, overshield, and devour. And I'm getting a lot of invisibility and devour out of this build. Um, so yeah, it's really enjoyable. Kind of lets me just get out of jail whenever I want and control the battlefield. And most of all, generate a lot of orbs, which is really what I am all about right now 
because I've noticed that many, many people who end up in my matchmaking, be it Gambit or just general PvE strikes and nightfalls and things like that, I've noticed a real shortage of orb creation from a lot of them. So I just like to make the orbs. Makes me happy. And um, from my artifact, I am running the shattered orb. So the first time you break a combatant shield, you create an orb of power if you break the shield with a matching damage type, which is really good because there's a lot of void shields floating around right now and I'm running a lot of void weapons. I'm also running volatile flow. Picking up an orb of power grants your void weapon volatile rounds, which, you know, is great on a 900 RPM machine gun, unsurprisingly. Uh, I'm running Bricks from Beyond because everybody's running Bricks from Beyond right now. Defeating a powerful combatant with a void weapon has a chance to generate heavy ammo for you and your teammates, which is dramatically useful at the moment. And I've got void weapon channeling. You gain a temporary bonus to void weapon damage after you defeat a target with a void weapon. While at least one of your void abilities is fully charged. So pretty useful. And then finally, I am running Prismatic Transfer. When you cast your super, each member of your fire team with a subclass damage type different than yours gains a bonus to weapon damage. So just helping out the old team arena there. Now let's talk about our mod setup. So I am running a double void siphon on my helmet along with power preservation. The void siphons make uh, orbs of power for me and then the power preservation because I'm supering a lot it creates the orbs for my allies I'm running firepower grenade kickstart and impact induction on my gloves firepower is busted right now but I'm not taking it off because I fear if I do they're never gonna fix the damn thing it's not making orbs of power at the moment that's what it is supposed to do uh, grenade final blows create orbs of power that is not working at the moment. I'm getting the message on screen. I'm not getting the orbs the same as everybody else. I would switch it to a double grenade kickstart, but I've noticed that double grenade kickstart does practically nothing. And um, the same way as I used to have an ashes to assets up here, and I've noticed it's doing practically nothing. And I'm also running impact induction, which means when I do damage with a melee attack, it reduces my grenade cooldown. I'm running a lot of void reserves because it is just very, very useful to be able to stack a lot of ammo in times of plenty for those encounters where it just does not drop. On my boots, I am running double innervation, reduce grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power, and I'm running a void weapon surge. Your void weapon gains a small bonus to damage while you have any armor charge. And then on my class item, I'm running double utility kickstart because I want a big chunk of that invisibility back when I use it. And I'm also running special finisher just in case I need to get out of jail free card for the old wave splitter. And that's about it. I've noticed that this allows me to just stay alive whenever I'm in an awkward spot. I can just invisible out of there and I can just super a lot, which is really just what I want to do. I want to super a lot. I want to make a lot of orbs for my teammates. I want to have a bit of fun and just not worry about it so much. And this allows me to do that. It's basically for filling the gaps that my team will almost inevitably leave open. Um, as I said, I'm a pretty mid player and I end up playing with other pretty mid players and we tend to just make mistakes and leave some gaps and this allows me to fill in for my teammates when they make mistakes and get myself out of there when I make mistakes. So that's it. If you're like me and you just want something fun and useful and utility driven for your void hunter, give this a shot and see how you like it. That's it guys, tune in soon for yet another video. I'm not entirely sure what it's gonna be about yet. I'm just like getting back into the groove of the channel. So thank you so much for watching and all the best.